In this video, we will learn about data flow graph and control flow graphs which are used in computer programming. Data flow graph, it is a graph which shows the data dependency between the various operations which are performed in computer programming. In data flow graph, various operations are represented in terms of nodes and how the and it is picturized in data flow graph as how the data flows from one node to another node it now coming to control flow graph it represents all the sequence of operations which are performed during the execution of program in control flow graph the directed edges represent the flow of control from one node to another node the control in in control flow graph there are two blocks one is called as entry block and one more is called as exit block the control enters into the graph using the entry block and the, and the control flows out to the exit block after knowing about data flow graph and control flow graph we need to know about the importance of this data flow graph and control flow graph in computer programming this data flow graph and control flow graph helps do to uh, helps in a uh, helps to organize the program it provides a comfort level for the programmer by acting as a blueprint during program development hence it increases the productivity of the programmer it also helps in decision making in complex logic problems and it also helps in presentation in the sense whenever a programmer wants to explain the logic to a lay person it is better to explain the logic in the form of a data flow graph or control flow graph rather than in terms of programming and it also helps in adaptability these are the main important techniques uh, while we go for data flow graph and control flow graph uh, rather than the flow charts now we will see the various real time systems where the data flow graph and the control flow graph is applied first we will go for cruise control system in car before drawing the before drawing uh, the data flow graph and control flow graph for this cruise control system first we need to know what is cruise control system cruise control system is one of the technique which is used in automobile to make the automobile go in a particular speed this cruise system is especially useful in highways where the driver can take rest by keeping uh, the car in cruise mode uh, this cruise control comes up with five main buttons they are on button to on the cruise control off button to off the cruise control resume this resume is is used to make the cruise control to go to the previous set speed set or accelerate this button will make the car speed to increase in the cruise mode similarly the coast is used for deaccelerate the speed in cruise mode before drawing the data flow and, and control flow graph we need to uh, list out the operations which are there at the user end and which are there at the system end at the driver end there will be he can uh select the buttons for uh, such as on button or off button or resume button or you can apply clutch or brake so that the car comes out of the cruise mode and in this system and there will be speed verification the speed verification is for the purpose such that the speed of the car is is below a certain uh, threshold speed it will, the car will not enter into the cruise mode and this is uh, if the, all the conditions are satisfied then the car will go into cruise mode and this fifth step happens when the user presses the resume mode mode and this remove car from cruise is when the user uh, presses the button off now we will see the data flow graph for the cruise control this is the data flow graph for the cruise control in car this is one represents the button selection whenever the user selects the button or up, uh, one represents the button selection two is for applying clutch or brake three is for speed verification four is for setting the car into the cruise fifth is for resuming the car from the cruise and sixth represents the removing car from the cruise 
Similarly, control flow graph can also be written and it shows here, here the various other sequences such as the car does not enter into cruise mode is listed in this control flow graph. The next example is uh, anti-lock braking system. Uh, this anti-lock braking system uh, popularly call, called as a a B a ABS allows the wheels on motor vehicle to ma maintain the contact with the uh, correct contact with the ro road surface according to the driver inputs. This a a ABS basically has an electronic control unit, uh, four wheel sensor applied at the four wheels and at least two hydraulic walls with brake hydraulics. If, uh, if the speed of any wheel, sense, uh, wheel is less when compared to other three wheels, then the hydraulic pressure at that wheel will be reduced so that its speed increases. Similarly, if the speed of any wheel is more, then the hydraulic pressure at that wheel will be uh, increased so that its, uh, uh, its speed will decrease and all the wheels will be in correct, position, correct speed. And similarly, as explained for the previous model, before drawing the data flow and graph and control flow graph, we need to uh, list the various uh, operations which takes place. At we'll measure through sensors, we'll measure the wheel speed, and at the uh, we'll, uh, and at the electronic control unit, continuously senses the uh, hydraulic pressure. Of, sometimes it may be necessary to reduce so that the wheel runs faster, and sometimes it may, we might need to increase the hydraulic pressure so that the wheel runs slower. Now we will see how the data flow graph and control flow graph. It shows the data flow graph of ABS where one represents the wheel speed and two represents the uh, to reduce the hydraulic pressure so that the three represents wheel runs faster. Similarly, four represents the increase in hydraulic pressure at the wheel and so that the wheel runs slower. Similarly, for the control flow graph, uh, we have to take uh, we have to take care that if the wheel sensors are in correct, then the no operations will be performed. Next is vending machine. Vending machine. It is an automated machine which collects coins from the which collects money from the user and delivers the product to the user based on his selection. If the money given from the user is correct, it will deliver the product, otherwise the money will be returned back if there is any shortage. Various data and control box in uh, this vending machines are coin insertion, product selection at the user end, and at the system end, the amount has to be verified, the product has to be dispensed if the amount is correct, and the receipt has to be generated. The data flow graph is as shown for vending machine where 1 represents coin insertion, 2 represents the product selection, 3 represents amount verification, 4 represents product dispensing, 5 represents the receipt generation. The control flow graph is similar, it uh, also lists the other sequence such as if the money is insufficient or the product is not available it will terminate. The next we are modeling is ATM or automated teller machine. It is one of the models which we use in our in our day to day life, which is used for cash withdrawal, balance inquiry, transferring money from one uh, one card to another. Uh, at the user end, the user will swipe the card and he enters his pin. At this system, and the pin verification happens, account balance verification whether the user has requ uh, required amount of money in his account, the cash dispensing if all the conditions are satisfied, receipt generation, and the balance update in the account, and the message which is sent to the user mobile. The data flow graph is shown here. Where one represents the swiping of the card, so two represents the entering of pin. Three represents the various service actions such as withdrawal of money or, tra or transferring of money or balance inquiry. Four represents pin verification. Five represents uh, account balance verification, and six represents the cash dispensing. In control flow graph, there is so one more extra block which is called terminate such that it terminates when, whenever some 
uh, there is an uh, incorrect bin all of the required balance is not there the next model is online shopping system this is uh, the latest system in this the user orders the product uh, online and it gets it delivered to his home uh, the various data and control box in this online shopping system are the product selection uh, once the user has to select the product from the website and then the product the, then the system will check for the product availability and whether the user address will co come in the service available area and after the user has to give his bank details the system will provide him SSL encryption so that his money will be secure money payment has to be made and the confirmation SMS will be sent and within few working days the product will be dispatched this shows the data flow diagram of an uh, online system here one represent here one represents the product selection two represents banking details three represents the check for checking for the availability of the product four represents the service availability in the area five represents the protection provided in online banking six uh, provides the successful money transfer it's seven is for uh, SMS confirmation and it is for dispatching the product. Similarly, in this the uh, for control flow graph, here if the product is not available or if the service is not available, the transaction is failed. The various other models are represented. The next is automated toll booth. Automated uh, in this in the to toll or national highways, no need for the driver to get down from the car to pay for the toll. Here, the cameras will be installed at the toll. Those, those will scan for the register number and it will check with the database whether the car register number is registered. If the car is registered, uh, then uh, automatically the amount will be deducted from the driver's account and an email will be sent and the gate will open. At the system end, there will be no no uh, there will be no jobs involved in the driver and at the system end the camera will capture the image of the car verify it with the registered users in a database it checks for the balance in driver's account it deducts the toll charges and opens the gate the data flow graph is shown here and the control flow graph is shown thank you